Infectious bovine keratoconjunctivitis, more commonly known as pink eye, can impact all breeds of cattle. Pink eye can occur at any time during the year, but more commonly appears in warmer months. Market Journal's Curtis Harms reports on how this infection can economically affect cattle producers. Pink eye in cattle can be a contagious and costly disease in livestock operations. It's estimated $150 to $300 million are lost each year in the United States due to pink eye in cattle. These losses stem from reduced growth rates in calves, decreased milk production in cows, various treatment costs, reduced value of the animal, and in some rare instances, death losses. Redness and inflammation of the lining of the eyelid and eyeball are common symptoms, according to UNL Extension Beat veterinarian Richard Randall. Well, typically what's happening, the first thing that you'll see is the eye becomes irritated. They'll begin to tear up and, and weep, uh, causing the face to get wet. Um, obviously, the pain associated with it will often cause these animals to squint in the affected eye or eyes, and those are typically the early signs that we see. Pink eye can affect one or both eyes in cattle, and the infection can take four to eight weeks or more to heal. Bacteria known as Miraxella bovis primarily cause the disease, which can spread several ways. Our biggest culprit are uh, probably the face fly, although we can see house flies and stable flies where they feed on uh, eye and, and uh, nasal secretion and then move to the eye of an unaffected animal and transport it that way. Uh, direct contact between animals themselves when they're housed closely uh, and even uh, we can be transferred ourselves. So if we mess with one cow and move to the other without cleaning between, we can transfer the organism. There are options for livestock producers to help treat pink eye in their cattle. Antibiotics can be injected into the conjunctiva, which is the lining of the white of the eye. The eyes are often covered or sutured closed to help alleviate the pain caused by the sun's UV light. Treatment can speed healing time and cattle are more likely to regain significant eyesight. There are also vaccines available to help combat pink eye in livestock. These vaccines can vary in results. If we look at the big picture over kind of a long time period, uh, we can see that, that the use of pink eye vaccines uh, are an advantage in that we can expect that uh, cases of pink eye that animals have would be shorter in duration and less in severity. But we can't always count on that vaccine preventing an outbreak from occurring. Randall said there are other infections that can look like pink eye, so it's a good idea to consult with your veterinarian to assist in an accurate diagnosis. Your veterinarian can also prescribe and administer medication if warranted. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Curtis Harms. If you're interested in finding information on pink eye and cattle, UNL Extension beef veterinarian Richard Randall authored an article about the infection on UNL's beef website. He also recently presented a webinar on the subject. You can find a link to both resources on the Market Journal website.